this camera is not just an upgraded version of the first Xiaomi 360 home security camera. This has tons of upgrades including free premium features like human tracking. Please join me until the end of this video to discover some surprises this camera has which are for paid subscriptions by other security camera brands. Subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. I would encourage you to watch first my first video on the Mi 360 camera which I uploaded here more than a year ago to be familiar with the operation of these two cameras. Besides, it will give you more understanding on the upgrades the 2K Pro 60 camera is offering. Here's the tail of the tape for these two cameras. You may pause for a while here and have a look at the matrix. The Xiaomi signature aesthetics, which is all white with few blacks, are all present in both cameras. The Tuki Pro is a little taller and bigger. In fact, it weighs 349 grams compared to the 360's 310 grams. The base of the Tuki Pro is about 74 mm in diameter, while 360 cam's base is 68 mm. The shape is quite different. The Tuki Pro looks like a mini. Opinion. The original 360 cam has a rotating head with a bigger base while the Tuki Pro has a rotating body leaving a smaller base down below. This would make the installation to a ceiling a little bit difficult. Both cameras are capable of panning up to 360 degree horizontal field of view, hence its name. For tilting, the Tuki Pro is up to 118 degrees vertical view, but its lens is a little bit obscured by its design. It only has about 65 mm open space. The 360 cam has 7 mm open space for its lens, but it only has 115 degrees vertical view. By design, the Tuki Pro can actually reach farther to the bottom, but the lens is already physically covered. This is one of its features, physical lens blocking, which is good for privacy. You can manually turn on the lens blocking on the Mi Home app. You can also schedule it on any preferred time. For the camera lens, the Tuki Pro is an upgrade. It has a resolution of 1296 pixels, hence this camera is called 2K. The first 360 camera has only 1080 pixels, though it's already a full HD. For camera aperture, the old 360 cam has a higher aperture than the Tuki Pros, which is at the lowest aperture of 1.4. This means the Tuki Pro allows more light to come into the camera and this is good for low light scenarios. For its night vision capabilities, both cameras are using 940 infrared LEDs. While the original 360 cam has a decent audio recording as I tested it before, the Tuki Pro has more. It has two microphones at the front and at the back for noise cancelling. So expect a better audio on the Tuki Pro. For storage, I am surprised by the limitation of the Tuki Pro. It can only accommodate up to 32GB microSD card while its predecessor can have as much as 64GB. Although this can be offset by the free 7-day rolling cloud storage courtesy of Xiaomi, however, only videos that are triggered by motion or person detection are recorded on the cloud. And these recorded videos on the cloud can be downloaded to your phone via the Mi Home app. If you open surveillance, you can notice here some um, video clips recorded by the camera. There's motion detected, this person detected, motion detected. These are all stored on the cloud. Uh, after seven days, then it will again uh, restart to the, uh, the next day or the eighth day. Uh, so you have a lot of uh, actually uh, storage, even though the camera has only uh, up to 32 gigabytes of memory card that you can use. But this is again, this has been complemented by this uh, cloud storage, which is free. Another major upgrade is the connectivity. The Toki Pro can use both the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequencies. This is an advantage for the Toki Pro, especially the 2.4 GHz is already crowded with most smart devices. Besides, 5 GHz offers faster connection. Here's another major addition to the 360 series of Xiaomi cameras. Aside from the motion and person detections, the 2K Pro has added artificial intelligence functionalities. These are baby crying and human tracking. And these are free and already built into the device. 
The camera will follow movements of person as soon as it detected that person and goes back to its original position as soon as the person stops moving. Using PTZ gestures, you can control the camera on the screen by swiping to pan and tilt and pinching the screen for zoom. You can also do this in the 360 1080p. Another major upgrade on the Toki Pro is its Bluetooth gateway function. It means capable Xiaomi Bluetooth devices can connect to the net via the Toki Pro. There are more platforms in Tuki Pro where you can share video clips. Sharing is also uh, updated or upgraded here on the Tuki Pro camera. You can see there at the right corner of the screen, there's a sign there going up that's sharing. If you press that, that means you can share to uh, different platforms. You see there below. Then you can also save the, you see the arrow down there, that's uh, down, the, the, that will go to your download list. So if you go to your download list, then you can uh, see that downloading already. Now if you go to your download list, uh, click storage management, then you go to uh, local instead of the memory card, you go to local and there you see your download list and uh, and the videos that are already downloaded. So if you click those, the latest video that we have download, downloaded, then uh, we can share that below. So there are several platforms there and you can also delete. Now if you ask me how to save that, that's already saved, okay? All you have to do is go to your um gallery then you go to the folder of the for xiaomi the folder of xiaomi uh, or the album is titled in numerical numbers <laughs> then you can see there the video that you, you are downloading now if you compare that with the mi 360 camera 1080p uh you click the surveillance video here then uh check one of the videos you can see above there's also a sign for sharing. If you click that, you can only see two platforms, Facebook and WhatsApp. That's the only two platforms where you can share the video from the Mi uh, Camera 360 1080p. And finally, a 5V 2-Ampere power adapter is used in both cameras. To recap, here are the major upgrades to the latest 360 camera of Xiaomi according to its importance. The added artificial intelligence features which are given free for its unit. We have the option to choose Wi-Fi frequencies, either the usual 2.4G or the faster 5 GHz, a better two-way communication using two microphones, and improved video image with its 2K resolution. You can now cover the lens of the camera when privacy requires. Xiaomi includes the 2K Pro camera with its integration of Bluetooth gateway functionalities to more smart devices. The limited storage on the card is complemented with a free cloud storage for 7 days. That's not bad at all. And lastly, there are more sharing platforms where you can directly post video clips. I put into test some of these upgrades. First, the baby crying detection. Since we have no baby in the house, I just tried playing a sound of baby crying on my tablet and the camera seems looking for the source of the sound. I zoom in the camera to the tablet if it could recognize the image of the baby, but it didn't. Maybe this really requires an actual baby. <laughs> For human tracking, I check if it really tracks human or just motion. I use a prop to trigger the camera. There was hesitancy on the part of the AI in determining if the moving object in front of it is human or not. This was demonstrated when the camera moves a little along the direction of the object. Maybe the AI really can distinguish human from mere object like in my earlier test on baby crying. Xiaomi says the camera can recognize human in one second. For the dual microphones, the audio is good and is better than the first Mi 360 cam. However, I discovered that the audio recording is intermittent if the human tracking feature is on because of the lens movement.
I'm, I'm still standing two meters away from the camera, and this time the camera's uh, human tracking feature is turned off so that I'll check if the audio recording is continuous. This is take two with the human tracking is turned off. The previous uh, take was distracted by the echo reverberation from my uh, cell phone. Since the Toki Pro Cam has possessed the largest aperture for most cameras, I tested it at low light scenarios. This is the shot of my living room with all lights off and a little lights from the computer monitor and from the electrical post outside. And these shots were from my cell phone camera showing only the lights from the monitor and LED pilot lights of smart speakers. But still, the Toki Pro delivers a clear black and white images. The infrared lights are working along with the large aperture of the camera. As to its 2K video quality, I made some shots comparing various distances from the camera. I was holding a paper with the words test text if it can be read at 10 feet, then at 20 feet from the camera. First at 10 feet, the text are readable in full shot if the lens stop moving. Zooming in the video has these images. Then at 20 feet, my eyes could no longer read the text while image is at full shot. Zooming in, the video will still show readable text though a little blurry. I program my SmiSmart switch under Mi Home automation to turn on the lens blocking by long press and single click to open the lens. The lens blocking feature responded well without delay. Others have tried streaming Toki Pro on Mi TV or any capable Android TV with picture in picture on the screen, meaning you can monitor the camera with a video inset on the screen while watching shows on TV. This requires Mi Home app to be installed on your TV. I haven't tried this because the Mi Home app is not available on my TCL Smart TV. It only streams the video from the Toki Pro. Show kitchen camera on TCL TV. All right, streaming the Mi 2K Pro camera on TCL TV. I can also um, stream that on my Google Nest Hub too. Although the signal is not good, it is on and off. If I stream on uh, Google Nest Hub, Google Nest Hub, I do not know what is the problem. Uh, but uh, all Xiaomi cameras, when you stream to Google Nest. Um, or to any other uh, smart display, you will have problems on the uh, streaming. It's either lag or it would be intermittent, like this. Again, let's see. On the TV set, it is also intermittent. Sure, streaming the MI 2K Pro camera on MI Smart Clock. As a Bluetooth gateway, the Toki Pro recognizes my Bluetooth devices which are already paired with Xiaomi Multimode Gateway. Transferring the Bluetooth devices to the Toki Pro is a breeze. I just turn off and on again the automation settings of the Bluetooth devices to refresh it to complete the connection with the Toki Pro Cam Gateway. 
For pairing and installation of this camera, follow the same procedure in pairing the first 360 camera except you now have a choice to either use the 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi channel. However, it's not easy to toggle between 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi channels as it needs to be reset and paired it again to the Mi Home app while choosing your preferred Wi-Fi channel. Also, I've tried connecting the 2Key Pro to the 2.4 GHz channel of my Wi-Fi router and I noticed a significant lag of the video feed from the camera. That's the original Mi 360 camera with 1080p resolution and that's the Mi 360 camera 2K Pro. Okay, that's 2K. Now, this is only a 2.4 GHz uh, Wi-Fi uh, camera and that one can have uh, 5G, the 2K Pro, but it has checked the uh, connection. There is a significant delay, okay, uh, for the 2K Pro. If you are going to, if, if the camera is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz, because right now that 2K Pro is connected to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and significantly there's a delay. I will raise my uh, my right arm and check the two cameras. The uh, Mi 360 cam is uh, uh, almost at the same time. I will down my, my hand, my arm. Again. So... Uh, I will try the 5G for the 2K Pro. Pro. The 2K Pro camera is now connected again back to 5G. So let's try um, my delay. Back. I will raise my right arm. You see? Almost simultaneously. Na? Yung baba, ito yung 2K Pro. Yung itaas is the uh, Mi 360 1080p. Okay, so there's a significant difference in the connection between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz for the Toki Pro. So the delay is about 2 to 3 seconds. Yeah. If you add the camera to the Mi Home app for the first time, there's no need to reset 2K Pro as it will be automatically detected by the app. If it happened you already installed the camera up there in your ceiling or wall or canopy, you don't need to go up there and scan the QR code of the device for the reinstallation. The camera will provide you with a 4-digit code to input with the app during reinstallation and repairing. Install the camera. Enter the four-digit password. Six, one, four, nine. Okay. Awaiting connection. Connecting. Please wait. Connected to Wi-Fi network successfully. Device paired to account successfully. Okay, it's done. As to the free cloud storage, indeed, it is only good for seven days. Earlier than 22, you could no longer see it because uh, the cloud storage is only for seven days. So 22, 23, 24, up to Tuesday, 28, that's seven days. As soon as you inserted a memory card, the NAS or network attached storage will also be shown. In our network, a PC in one of the rooms appeared on the app. You can also install a NAS by using an external hard drive to your Wi-Fi router's USB port. There are tutorial videos on that. Okay, I'm going to test the camera. It, it can still record video while uh, the internet is off and the Wi-Fi is off. First, I will pull out the plug from the fiber connection or from the fiber service line. Then after 10 seconds, I will completely turn off like the Mi 360 1080p camera, the Toki Pro can also record videos on the SD card even if it has no internet or Wi-Fi connection. So it's already removed the uh, Wi-Fi, uh, not only but the uh, fiber connection from the service line of our uh, internet service provider. Then uh, just while I will. Uh, 
completely turn off the router. For now, it's already turned on, so check if the camera is still continuing the recording. Okay, so I'm now turning off the uh, Wi Fi router. I started talking to the camera at 1347. Then at 13.48, I turn off the, or I plug off the uh, fiber connection from the service line of, of our internet service provider. Then at 13.49, I completely turn off the Wi-Fi router. And then I go back to my seat at 13.50. Still the um, Wi-Fi and if Wi-Fi is out, the, the Wi-Fi router, router is off and the connection, the internet connection it's also uh, off, okay? Uh, so in short, um, the camera is still recording video and audio even if the Wi-Fi router is off and even if the Wi-Fi router is on but there is no internet. This is nice. The Mi 360 Home Security Camera 2K Pro complements my other cameras because it has other features that other cameras don't have. Follow my channel by subscribing and click that notification bell as I continue searching for more cameras that suits our needs. Dekan selamat, ekosistem teriman, high tech tabai.